In a world without buttons, the QWERTY man is king. Or is he? Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and I switched to a BlackBerry passport in the year 2022. This is my story. My adventure started on a high as I took the SIM from my Android phone and put it into my Chode phone. That's right, a phone that's almost as wide as it is tall. And what a phone to hold. I wasn't expecting it to feel as premium as it did. Its metal sides and buttons cool to the touch. The slightly contoured screen so smooth. And some sort of rubbery plastic back that felt fine to put down on a surface. This phone doesn't need a case. Well, unless that case is a leather holster. Sadly, I couldn't find one so my pockets would just have to suffice. Turning on the device turned me on as I marveled at the luxurious square screen. A perfect one-to-one, -one. it was designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. And at 1440p resolution, the 4.5 inch screen had almost the same pixel density as a modern iPhone, with only half the mental density of its designers. And the jewel in the crown of the BlackBerry Passport is, of course, the physical QWERTY keyboard. At first, I was wary of its squished-down three-row design. Could it really compare to the classic BlackBerry Classic? <laughs> yes, it could. Because just like Santa Claus, what it lacks in height, it makes up for in girth fitting the space bar in the middle of the keys and moving just the special keys to the virtual realm. Ah, and typing on physical keys is so much more satisfying than their glass screen alternatives. There's less autocorrect mistakes, less screen getting in the way, and it's a little slower. So you can take your time and write things worthwhile, like an email, a document, a note, or even a tweet. Oh, a, a signal message? A BBM? Oh dear. And this is where things took a downturn for me. Because even though I didn't ask much of the Blackberry, just some basics like weather, timer, phone calls, the slightly more complex tasks were slightly more painful. I mean, I did manage to import my passwords into the Blackberry vault, but only by first manually manipulating the import file. Oh, spreadsheets. And I did find a two-factor authentication app that would work, but I'd have to reset all of my two-step codes again, since it couldn't import, which is a pain in the anus. And with BBM down for the count, the Signal app not installing, and WhatsApp owned by the devil himself, my only private messaging app option was Telegram, which totally worked half of the time. Video calls did work surprisingly good. There were times I actually received a notification and every now and then the app would even open. But for a device designed for supreme communication, I just couldn't reliably communicate on it. Unless I switched to SMS messaging, which is so insecure, I think it could even be hacked by the Romanian secret police horse. And so I must return back to the keyless slabs. Sad that I can't get the software experience I want into the physical form factor that I want. So Blackberry, even though this passport couldn't get me where I needed to go, at least we'll always have an alarm clock. Subscribe today. Punk it down.